guys, Brown Second Fist here today. Today we're going to be talking about macronutrients. Let's get in. Let's start with protein. What is protein? Any of a large class or group of complex polymers that consist of polypeptides that also bind with nucleic acids and lipids too, just as well. And after that, what now? Basically, what what are proteins? So they're basically literally just a combination, a link, a chain of a link of amino acids, 20 amino acids, they link together and they basically form one big protein, one single protein, and they all form together again to create one single protein. That is the process of all for yeah, all the amino acids stretching out and chaining and linking linking the chain together, linking them together like it like you know with handcuffs, uh you know let's get another set of handcuffs put them on another person's hand, you know, linking that all together. Uh, it's like it's like a chain reaction, but yeah, linking all they get to make one protein, and they all the building blocks of protein. We'll get two amino acids, also an organic compound. When we look at the organic compound, they also consist of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. They consist of all of that, of all those elements. Is that what amino acids consist of? And now, they also make proteins. They create create proteins. They replace proteins from protein. Is destroyed too, and when the biocells, muscle tissue, when limb tissue, when the tissue is destroyed, when the organs is destroyed, they come in to repair that. They create more proteins that can repair that, can rebuild that too, just as well, and just creating, recreating more proteins to take the place of the the, the protein that is destroyed, the biocells, muscle tissue that are destroyed along with the organs that are destroyed. They come in to repair that. They come in to rebuild the lost muscle tissue. They come in to repair the lost. Organs. They come to repair the cells too, just as well. Proteins are really crucial in that. You know, I'll find the cells to protein too, just as well. Talking about that. Anyways, now what, as we're looking at that, we're going to be looking at carbohydrates next. And my cat, uh, cat killed a squirrel, so, uh, it's not, uh, a sight, you know, I would say for you to look at, but, uh, I'm going to say it, uh, close your eyes, but, uh, yeah. It's like the guts torn right out of it. So, uh, carbohydrates. Now, what are carbohydrates? Now, as we look at carbohydrates, they any of a, a large class of a large group of organic compounds. I'm going to look at the organic compounds. They're also found in food and all of that. They're found in living tissue, and they consist of starches, sugars, and they also consist of cellulose, too, just as well as that. I want to uh, state right there. Now, there's simple and there's complex. There's two types of carbohydrates. Now, there's simple and there's also complex carbohydrates. Now, you want to know about that? You want to know how it deals with blood sugar? Go on the video I did before this. There's going to be a video specifically discussing the macronutrients and what they are specifically that. So, simple carbohydrates. So, what's simple carbohydrates? So, it's carbohydrates such as glucose that consist of a single monosaccharide unit. So, it doesn't have two or more monosaccharide units. It only has one unit one single monosaccharide unit because it's saying one single monosaccharide unit and also known as, as the bad sugar. It's really bad for your blood sugar too, just as well. Anyways, now we're going to be looking at complex. Now what are complex carbohydrates? So complex carbohydrates, sorry, I, I can't stop looking at that. That's cool I said. So carbohydrates just as sucrose and when we're looking at sucrose, also starch. So Carbohydrates such as sucrose and a starch that consists of two or more monosaccharide units. So it has one or two more monosaccharide units. It has two saccharide units or even more su surpassing the level of the amount of the simple carbohydrates because they only have one monosaccharide unit. When these have two or more monosaccharide units, they have way more compared to that. And they're, they're known as the good sugar too. You want to have more of that for stabilizing blood sugar and make it easier on the hormone insulin for controlling that and stabilizing it too. Just so you don't get things like low blood sugar, high blood sugar, so you don't get things like diabetes, type 2 diabetes, you know, things like bad liver function, liver failure too, just so well, premature death, cardiovascular disease, any of that. We're going to be talking about that's I'm still fighting this right now, uh, all this right now, so I don't, you know, talk too much about it. And was that, that's carbohydrates for you. That is carbohydrates for you anyways let's get into what do we need else omega-3 fatty acids and monounsaturated fats is what we need to talk about so what are monounsaturated fats so again they're low in cholesterol are crucial for decreasing 
cholesterol, two just as well, and they are known as the good fats. Of course, they're a family of fats that are high in HDL and high density lipoprotein, protein, rather the high in LDL that increases the cholesterol and makes it so you have the cholesterol spikes. Your cholesterol is going all over the place. You have complications with with the narrowed artery, with narrowed arteries too. Just well, you know, the heart is like, I'm gonna give you this oxygen. I'm gonna give you this this blood, but blood vessels, you gotta get it. You gotta. I'm gonna give you it, but you gotta get it through the arteries. You gotta make sure you know they, they don't narrow and they don't get clogged. So it's not it's not prevented from getting to buy some old citron. They don't tear you. They don't kill us up because they don't have what they need. And when this happens, proteins are very very crucial to rebuilding that tissue, to rebuilding, of course, protein are really crucial in making muscle fibers go from type 1 to type 2, low capacity to go to a higher capacity to go to a small, to a large, to a simple, to a complex, to just well, higher capacity to higher amounts of muscular hypertrophy, muscular uh, gain to just well, vascularity, muscle tone, when we look at that, higher metabolism, more metabolic to be made, that is very crucial, protein is very crucial for that, Protein, protein, I said protein for a minute. Uh, anyways, macronutrients. It, it's very crucial in having a balanced amount and having the right amounts of every macronutrient for, you know, for you to not be malnourished and having more of one thing and it's not really, you know, balance is imbalanced. You have more thing where you should be having a balance of every macronutrient and micro micronutrients and micromerals and vitamins and minerals too. When we look at that, the smallest, the most simplified, versions, forms of omega-3 fatty acids, of proteins, of amino acids, we'll get that, it's usually pill or supplementation version of that micronutrients, but we'll be looking at that in another video, not in this video, now we're going to be talking about that. Now, uh, monounsaturated fats, yes, of, of course when we look at that, they're part of the HDL family, which is lower in cholesterol, and decreases the cholesterol rather than increasing cholesterol like HDL and polyunsaturated fats. And of course, it's a family. Now, omega-3 fatty acids will be located in it. So omega-3 fatty acids is known as alpha linoleic acids. Do as well. Now, they're lower in cholesterol and they're on the myounsaturated fats. So they decrease cholesterol. They're lower in cholesterol. Alpha linoleic acids too, just as well. And we're looking at the monounsaturated fat family being higher in HDL, high density lipid protein that can lower cholesterol, decrease cholesterol, make sure no complications in the body happen, like narrowed arteries and clogged arteries. When, okay, let's, let's get back to that. Since I, I kind of uh, skipped it for a minute. So when we kind of go back to that, you know, the blood vessels, like, okay, I got this oxygen, I got this blood. Let me get through the arteries. Arteries, like, you are too late. The plaque, the plaque build, LDL creates a plaque build in the arteries. Now, with this plaque build, all of the LDL, it comes together, all of the bad fat, the fats that are higher in cholesterol. You know, when we look at the omega-6 fatty acids, part of the polyunsaturated fat family, the polyunsaturated fats, the saturated fats combining with that, they all create all the bad fats, the higher in cholesterol, they can increase cholesterol. They all create an LDL buildup. And when that LDL buildup is created low density lipid protein, uh, when we look at that, what is it? So low density lipid protein that deliver, that is high in cholesterol and delivers Cluster to buy cells and muscle tissue so they deteriorate and they don't get the blood flow, they don't get the oxygen flow that's needed. So the plaque buildup, it creates a big, 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 big wall to make sure that the blood cannot get through to buy cells and muscle tissue and the organs too, just as well when we look at that. But not that just the blood, but the oxygen gets to the buy cells, muscle tissue, and the organs too, just as well, getting to that. So that's, that's really bad right there. And the point is that we, we would classify that as clogged arteries. Now, now we wouldn't we wouldn't classify that as narrow arteries when plethosclerotic plaque builds up, and then when all that plaque builds up in the arteries, it prevents the blood vessels from delivering oxygen to buy some muscle tissue. But yeah, when the blood flow cannot be cannot be you know a, an exact you know there can can be there can be present, and when the oxygen flow cannot be getting through, that's when you have when the blood flow is not getting through, when the oxygen flow is not getting through, but the flow sclerotic plaque buildup, that is known as narrow arteries, when the plaque, the plaque sclerotic plaque builds up in the arteries, the LDL builds up in the arteries, the low density lipid protein, the, the fats that are, higher in, that are higher in cholesterol, that increase cholesterol, that are bad for cholesterol, that are bad for, you know, because of LDL, and we have things like LDL, when we have fats that are higher in cholesterol, that increase cholesterol, we have problems, you know, knowing as like, Liver failure, bad liver function, we have heart attacks, we have more risk of strokes, we have premature deaths, we have cardiovascular disease too, narrowed arteries, 
we have also cholesterol, as I talked about there, we have cholesterol spikes too, just as well. And we have all that, the basis of this. So the thing is like, oh my God, what'd you do? You know, if the heart cannot, cannot give, you know, the oxygen, the oxygen is lost and no more oxygen can be supplied to, to the heart. It could not come back to the heart because it's a big process of it, getting oxygen and blood flow. But that blood flow and oxygen needs to get back to the heart so it can still function at, at its best. It can still do its functions, the process in the body. All these functions need to be served in the organs. If we're talking about blood vessels, if we're talking about, if we're talking about the arteries, they all, they all do one thing and they all have to exactly do it right or, you know, the bicellular tissue, you know, deteriorate, they die, they get destroyed too just as well. It's really hard, you know, to even, to even get back that, that, that bicellular tissue, to get back the muscle tissue that you, you lose when the cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, the LDL, it, it cuts to that, you know, that, that's completely gone. So you only have what's left, and that's really bad. The bicellular muscle tissue teaches as well, and not not even, you know, even proteins, even having protein in diet, you know, to kind of rebuild it to reconstruct bicellular muscle tissue. It will only do so a little bit. But when you have so much muscle mass, when you have so much muscle lost, muscular hypertrophy lost because of the cholesterol, the LDL fats cover it, and they make sure that no blood circulation can be reached too, but when, there's no, when they eat into the body cells and muscle tissue, when that is destroyed, when that is destroyed, that is gone completely. So don't think that, you know, I, I go to protein, I have a balanced you know, diet, that I'm going to get that back, because that's silly, you're not going to get that back. So that's the really bad thing about, you know, cholesterol right there, and along with liver failure, along with bad liver function, heart failure, a lot of fatty heart, Fatty liver too long, no blood circulation too. Just well is what we all get from, you know, we all get from low daily lipid proteins. We get from the fats that are higher in cholesterol, and that don't decrease cholesterol but increase cholesterol, and they are worse for our hearts and livers and our organs too. Just as well as when we're looking at that. But that is basically uh, the video for you today, you guys. So macronutrients, yeah, it's basically just proteins, carbohydrates. Amino acids, and we're looking at amino acids. We're looking at simplified carbohydrates. We're looking at complex carbohydrates. We're looking at amino acids, proteins, omega three fatty acids, monounsaturated fats. We're looking at fats that are low in cholesterol, that decrease cholesterol. That would be a part of that. It wouldn't be considered the generative non nutrients. The term that I made is when we're speaking of poultry. We're speaking of uh, bakery. Whether we're speaking of foods that are highest in we're looking at refined sugar, we're looking at foods that are highest in LDL, that are highest in sugar, degenerative, non nutrients that do nothing for our body. Sim simple carbohydrates, you know, do nothing for our body complex. Carbohydrates are the ones that we are meant to consume, not to have too much of that because then the blood sugar starts getting out of control and shit and all that stuff. Anyways, that's basically the video for you guys today. And I wanted to get, you know, get that information on amino acids, proteins, carbohydrates, mega three fatty acids, miles, dietary fats. I wanted to get the macronutrient video done and do revisiting that. I wanted to revisit that today. And I might do a macronutrient video tomorrow, macro mineral video tomorrow, and the vitamins and minerals. Check that out. Check all that stuff out. Uh, those videos are pretty, 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 uh, pretty short and they're pretty cool. A lot of information was learned in that. Uh, it took me about 20, 30 to 15 minutes to learn all that information. It's pretty fun. Uh, doing that as well. Not not really hard. I don't think of it as time tasking. I think of it, you know, as pleasure time. I think of it as pleasure myself with the pleasuring myself with the information of you know with the gift of nutrition and learning that all those terms and everything. And it's basically the way for you guys today. So uh anyways bye guys. Bye so you finish out and love you guys till next time. Bye so you finish.